Hello RC fans, race fans, sim fans, racing 393. Um, just a quick video really here today. Um, as you're probably aware, Sky RC uh, do many, many different sort of uh, tools uh, contributed to the, the, the RC hobby. Um, it can be taken very seriously or just a, a garden basher. So I'm sort of from middle of the road to taking things seriously. I'm not one for destroying my models that I use. Um, I don't, one is I don't want to throw money at what is effectively a toy. Uh, secondly, I respect what I've had. I've always been like that. So I respect my stuff and I look after my gear. I've still got loads of RC bits and pieces back in the day when I first got into it, back in my sand sculpture days. So, but things have moved on and uh, we've got a couple of uh, items here. Um, there's one that's not here because it's actually still attached to a car, but the Sky RC does the GPS module, which you'll see a lot of that online. Um, if I can find a picture that's suitable, I'll stick it up on the pit on the uh, video now. Um, this just does uh, the GPS, so the speed runs. It can also do altitude and drag, you know, from a fixed point to uh, another fixed point to give you like a time lapse, a time between like you know drag racing from one point to the other. Um, where you've got one that says lap, and that just basically does like the high speed runs that you see online, etc. So that's what the um, the GPS module does. Again, it's done by um, Sky RC. In front of you here, there's another, this is a fairly older version of it. However, uh, we've got a Sky RC corner weight system. Uh, this is the wired version. They've now since done a wireless version. Um, probably, bit, we'll be honest with you, that, I'd have rather had that one, but I bought this one and then the other one came out. So maybe one day, um, again, if you're serious into your RC racing, um, then your corner weights, could be set on your car if you know what you're doing. It's fairly complex. Um, I used to do a lot of corner weight adjustments and set up when I did my uh, stock car oval track racing days. Um, yeah, I, I, it does take a bit of getting used to, but and it, from a real racing perspective on the ovals, um, it is a major tool of getting your car to handle around an oval quickly. Um, when it comes to something that's scaled right down to one eighth, one tenth, whichever, yes, it's going to make a difference um, of where you basically on the smaller scale cars, it's where you put the weight, and you can buy little stick on weights if you like, gram weight or whatever it was, three or four gram, five gram, whichever you want, whatever you're using, and you can place that on the car uh, in certain areas to sort of put the weight where you need it. Or you can adjust spring platforms, springs, shock, shock angles, uh, caster and cam, but that's all going to change um, where your corner, your weight is on the car. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about today and show you is a new um, product from Sky RC, and uh, this is a digital camber gauge. Now, I've got a manual one which I use or have used in the past, um, just to make sure the cars are sitting true and straight. But this one's quite a good one. This one's a, a digital one, and you need to download an app on your smartphone to be able to use this. So I'm gonna try and show you um, what this is, um, and then I'm gonna show you on my, my, I'll either show you on my phone, but I'll also probably take a screen grab of it and put it up on the screen as well, as it'll probably be clearer. So let's get this out of the box. Remember, precision engineering, eh? Well, firstly, the instructions. Fairly straightforward. I'm going to sort of tell you what's in that in a second. Uh, a nice padded uh, packaging. USB charger standard stuff and the actual gauge itself so it is very small um, if I put it against you know my hand you can see there it's not very big I'm, I haven't got big hands you know what they say about I'm not gonna go down there that's a stupid joke let's not do that right so um, 
yeah, so it's very um, meticulous. It's for the one tenth touring car. So, but it would work. It's going to work on on any RC car, I expect. But it would. I mean, even the one eighth. Um, it would definitely work on any of those cars. So, so how does it work? Well, first off, we need to turn it on, and then I need to show you the app that I've got. Okay, so here's the gauge. It's on zero, and if I, I'm gonna move the camera gauge, and, you, and you'll see this move as well. So it is very, very sensitive. You got, you got at the bottom, you got a zero button and a hold button, if you wanted to show somebody, or move away from the car, I guess, and go to a computer. I don't know. I don't know why you, you, you'd hold it when you set it, so that you know what it was. Um, and the zero there, so if it was slightly on a skew anyway, you'd zero the, the counter before you'd measured anything. So if I got hold of this, I'm just going to tilt that in very slightly. There we go. It's because my hand's moving, but you can see that if that moves in on the camber of the wheel, you can measure the camber and it goes the other way as well. So it's very sensitive. Um, and very good. I mean, I think that's some, rather than having it's everything. Everything's much easier to read a digital display than an analog measuring device. Now, I I've been brought up on the analog version of, of calipers and verniers and rulers and and, and 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 things like that. Compasses, protractors. They've all been analog, so you have to read the scale. But I've always preferred perhaps as I got older, using the digital version of it. It is likely to be more accurate than perhaps reading a scale, which can have plus or minus a certain amount of discrepancy. This is probably really accurate, to be honest. So again, I'll tilt it up as if it was against, I haven't got the car here in front of it, against the wheel, and you can see it measures these small increments on there. So the interesting thing here, is it can do camber and tow. And the, the, the important thing to remember is, like like any equipment, because, um, you know, let's be fair, what, what you might use it on um, might not be completely flat. So even if you found this, it was on your table at home, and the table's not completely flat when you put it down, you do, you put it on and then you put zero and it zeroes it to this sort of where this is. So this is actually sitting flat. So you can actually measure um, camber and tow. So you have to put the kit vertically as straight as you can. And then you can measure how much tow, if you've got the adjustment on your kit, of where the wheels are. So, for example, if the kit was flat on the table, you can use this edge to do the camber. If you put the kit upright on its nose, if you like, you can then put this up against the wheel and it will measure toe in and toe out. That, I mean, that's, that's what it says in the instructions. It says here, Hold the kit vertically on the setup station. So does that mean that there is an, an, an extra um, part that you need for that? I don't know. A setup station or just holding it there? <laughs> I don't know. But this is super accurate. I mean, it's it says here, the tests have shown a tolerance. There's a tolerance in this of uh, 0.2 degrees across a three degree range, um, which is mainly on, this is mainly for any touring car or on-road RC car rather than off-road, I must say. Um, and it says every single camber and tow gauge, which is what this is, is tested and calibrated before delivery. So, um, 
and you can use it on any surface, so any working area, it doesn't have to be flat. Ideally, the flatter the better, but because you can zero it, you can get really accurate results. Now we're gonna test this out soon. Uh, I've just noticed the warranty service is valid in China only. Well, there you go. So it's no good here then, is it? Um, so I've got this off of uh, Schumacher Racing. It was about 30 quid, 35 pounds, something like that. Um, we're gonna put it to the test on one of my cars very soon to see how it's set up. We're gonna use the corner weight scales as well. We'll have a little setup video and see if it makes any difference when the car is used. So I suppose it's coming to the winter here in the UK, so I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but anyway, that's the high precision Sky RC digital camber gauge, uh, mainly for the one tenth touring car scene. Um, I hope it made sense to you, I hope you liked it, and I shall update you when I'm actually using this. Uh, we'll do another video, a setup video, including this, and you can see there the corner weight system. I think I've done a corner weight system on this one, but we'll do uh, a, a combined video of using both the equipment here and see what we can find out with our, our RC cars. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.